So I got an affiliate deal to work with one of the bridal subscription box companies. Um, and then when they sent me the box, I opened it and I was like, uh, but I did come up with a really cool idea of what you can do to kind of treat yourself each month leading up to your wedding um, instead of wasting your money on a bridal subscription box. <laughs> Hello there my blushing brides, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about bridal subscription boxes. So I got an affiliate deal to work with one of the bridal subscription box companies. Um, and then when they sent me the box I opened it and I was like, uh, I would not use any of this stuff, I would not give any of this stuff to one of my friends. Um, it was just like a bunch of junk. A lot of the bridal subscription box companies, they just saw another opportunity to make money off of brides, which is so annoying. And they're just trying to like sell you a product for as cheap as possible. Basically, bridal subscription boxes are a huge waste of money. I was talking to my husband and I was like, oh, it's so annoying that these are bad because there's such a cool opportunity here to share new products with people and stuff like that. And I was like, maybe I'll start my own bridal subscription box at some point <laughs> and come up with some really awesome products for you guys. But um, I don't really have time for that since I have two kids, well, one kid and one kid on the way. <laughs> Um, and so I'm not gonna do that right now, maybe someday. Um, but I did come up with a really cool idea of what you can do to kind of treat yourself each month leading up to your wedding um, instead of wasting your money on a bridal subscription box. So I came up with the idea to do a DIY bride box. Um, so you should have in your calendar each month leading up to your big day marked as like 12 months out, 11 months out, 10 months out, so that you can check in with your planning timeline um, and know what you need to be doing anyway. So to that little reminder of how many months away you are from your wedding, you are going to add a little gift for yourself. <laughs> um, so I have 12 ideas for the 12 months leading up to your big day on how to treat yourself. So let's jump right in. So for month 12, for 12 months out, you are going to get yourself a personalized planner, notebook, and pen. It's super important to stay organized through your whole planning process, so having a really nice little place to do that um, will kind of motivate you to stay organized, and it, I don't know, it just feels good to have a pretty little planner to write this stuff in. Um, and if you get one in a bridal subscription box, it's probably going to be something cheap um, or something you're not going to use. But if you go ahead and buy your own, then you can like pick it out and make sure that it's super cute and that you'll use it. Um, and then it's kind of fun to have around. If you want to take this one a step further, you could also maybe give yourself a little office makeover or a little desk makeover, like some cute flowers, a cute like wedding planning mug and stuff like that. Um, so that you have a cute little space that feels really great where you can do your planning. For month 11, we're going to get a cute future Mrs. tank top or t-shirt or sweatshirt, whatever season or whatever you're into. Um, I think that you probably get this in some bridal subscription boxes, but there are a million different options on Etsy, even customizable ones. Um, and I think it's fun to have something cute to pop on when you're um, doing your wedding planning. If you didn't get one in month 12, you might also want to do a cute like future Mrs. mug. Um, even if you did get one in month 12, you might just want to get another one. Just get some swag. Get a cute shirt, get a mug, um, anything that's going to make you excited to go through your planning process. For month 10, the theme is going to be Get Fit. So we're going to sign up for a yoga class or a Pilates class or some sort of workout class, um, something that you're excited about and that you'll do actually go to and do and that will make you feel great leading up to the big day. And if you have a little extra to spend this month, you might also want to get an outfit. I feel like whenever I set new workout goals or start a new workout class, if I get an outfit that I feel amazing in, then I'm super excited to actually go to the class <laughs> and do the work. Um, I think it definitely helps. So that's for month 10. I think this one is probably like the most useful one. Um, 
because I'm a huge health freak, but also I think that now is a great time to start a great health and nutrition routine that you're gonna carry forward into your marriage. Um, a lot of girls just try to like work out really hard and get fit for the wedding and then they don't really have a plan after that. Um, but I think it's important to start a routine now that you can really stick to and stay in for the long term, find classes that you love or workouts that you love, um, plus awesome workout gear that will motivate you to keep working out. <laughs> um, I do have a video, a health and fitness tips video for brides. I'll link that below for you. Month nine, we are going to get ourselves some bath and pamper stuff. Um, soak those sore muscles from the month 10 stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I, this is what I received in the subscription box that I got. And it was all just like really cheap stuff that smelled really nasty. Like stuff I would never use. I'm super into like all the natural and organic bath products and health products. Um, so I would never use the stuff that they sent. So I would recommend going and finding some really awesome like bath salts and essential oils that you love so that you can come home from a hard day of planning and a workout and hop in the bathtub um, and pamper yourself. I think it's important to start this routine now too. For month eight, and this is the one that I think there's huge opportunity for bridal subscription boxes to do very well on, um, but they just don't do that, and that is a new hair and makeup routine. I think it's a fun time to kind of give yourself a little daily look makeover. There's tons and tons of YouTube videos. Find someone that you like out there that, um, and maybe get just a couple new products. I personally recommend looking for swapping out your old products with some natural and organic makeup products. I know the stuff that we all grew up using is really, really bad. Once I started to try to get pregnant with my first baby, um, I started going through and noticing like what, like all the chemicals that are in all my products and that they actually cause like birth defects and stuff like that, which is really scary. Um, so I went through and completely swapped out all of my products for things that are more natural. Um, there's an app that you can get called Think Dirty. I'll link it below. And it is amazing. You can like scan the barcode on your products and it will list all the ingredients and tell you how good or how bad they are um, and why and the research behind that and everything. Um, and then they also have recommendations for different products to switch to. So if you are gonna start trying for babies, um, and even if you're not, it, I think it's super important to start an amazing health and wellness routine that you can carry on through your marriage and through your life um, because you'll look better in the long run and you'll feel better. <laughs> um, so I think that eight months out is a perfect time to give yourself a little makeover, maybe get a new hairstyle or something, and then also go through and start swapping out those products for products that are just better for you. And then the theme for month seven is going to be personal development. So along with an amazing health and wellness routine that I think it's super important that you implement, before you get married so that you can carry that on. Um, you'll also want to implement a personal development routine. I think that couples who grow together stay together. There's no doubt that if you start digging in and finding tools and resources that you can use personally, in your relationship, in your career, all that stuff, you're going to just feel so much better about life. So I figure why not start in the wedding planning process. A lot of the tools that and the resources that I have, um, I kind of wish that I would have had more of when I was planning my own wedding because it would have helped a lot with like my stress and just how I dealt with things. Um, so yeah, so I highly recommend grabbing some personal development books in this month. And if you do have the budget, you might also want to try a personal development course as well. It's just such a cool launch pad to really have amazing tools um, and amazing resources to be able to deal with whatever comes at you, especially this time in your life, like right before you dive into marriage. It's so important to do. Um, so I'll put a couple of my recommended books below. My number one is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I've done a video on it. Um, I probably mentioned it a ton, but it is the best book ever and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you only get yourself one book for this personal development month, I highly recommend getting that one. I'll link it below. 
Um, and then maybe if you do want to like dive in and really kind of have a fresh start on life, um, you might want to do a personal development course like maybe a Tony Robbins course. That's what I recommend. Um, I've also done some like landmark stuff. There's other, there's tons of other different personal development courses and coaches and stuff that you can find. Find the one that works best for your lifestyle and that you connect with um, and that works for you. I think it's never too early to start implementing a personal development routine with your new hubby so that you guys can really grow together and it will just make your relationship and your lives that much better. This one you're not gonna get in any bridal subscription box. Um, so yeah, I think that this is probably one of the most important things you can do for yourself and for your relationship, especially at this time in your life. For month six, we're gonna kinda take a chill pill here. Um, I know a lot of the months before kind of like do things and really like ambitious, um, but for month six, you're going to schedule an amazing, beautiful date night out with your fiance. I think this is way better money spent than any bridal subscription box can give you. Um, I think it's also a great opportunity to get in the habit of doing a weekly date night. You don't have to go out to a super fancy dinner every single week or anything. You can even do date nights in and stuff like that. But it's so, so, so important to start making this a habit. For month five, we are going to do some shopping. So hopefully by this month, your month 10 workout rituals have paid off so that you can go and get some amazing outfits and swimwear for your honeymoon. It's nice to have that stuff kind of hanging in your closet so that you can get excited and look at it and start making plans for that big dream honeymoon that you're gonna go on. And it's also a little extra motivation if that fitness routine is maybe hard or not really working <laughs> um, to get back into it too. Month four, we're going to do a little bedroom makeover. So this is totally up to you how much you wanna spend. You might just wanna do something small, like a cute little new sign for above the bed. Um, there's tons of really, really cute stuff on Etsy or Pinterest. You might also wanna do like a canvas print of one of your engagement photos, um, something like that. Maybe some candles or a new little floral arrangement or something. Um, just spruce up your bedroom. Make it feel like a place that you wanna spend time. I think that it's a place that's super sacred in your relationship. It's a place for relaxing and it's a place for connecting. Um, so really putting in a little extra effort to give it a little upgrade will make you wanna spend more time there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, you might also, if you have the budget, want to go all out and do like new bedding, new furniture if you can. Um, it's fun to like really create a space together, especially if you kind of have like a mishmash of furniture and bedding and stuff that you've kind of accumulated from your past lives. It's really nice to um, kind of create a new space together that's going to be your space as husband and wife. Month three is a fun one. We're gonna do some more shopping and we are going to get lingerie. You might not wanna go super crazy because you might get a bunch for your bachelorette party um, or your bridal shower. I think it's super important to feel pretty and to feel sexy um, and that definitely affects your relationship as well. So go get yourself some sexy little pieces, um, maybe also some pretty little PJs as well. And then month two, we're going to do some beauty. So we are going to go get our lashes done and go get a spray tan. So these are two things that you need to get done for the wedding day anyway. I highly recommend lashes. Um, getting lash extensions is like the best thing that I ever did as a mom, um, but they are amazing. They just make your photos that much better. And like the glue on stuff is great, but I think it's kind of a pain in the butt. So these like lash extensions that you can get done, um, make it so much easier. And if you get them done early, then you can add or subtract volume or length or whatever and so that you can get them perfect for your big day. Um, and then you can also find somebody that you love to do them as well. And it's nice to have them done maybe like right before your bachelorette party so that you have them for that. Um, and then same with the spray tan. So you'll want to get a spray tan obviously like a couple days before your wedding, but you'll want to do it a couple months out as well to make sure that you find a place that you love that does a really great job and then um, that you get the right color. 
So it's perfect to do this. Get your lashes done, go get a spray tan, treat yourself, um, and do it right before your bachelorette party so that you look amazing for those photos as well. And then one month out, we are going to do a spa day. I think that by this point, you will probably at least have a little bit of wedding planning stress. Hopefully not too much. Um, <laughs> but you're going to treat yourself maybe to a massage, maybe a massage and facial, whatever your budget can fit in. Um, even if it's just like a manicure and pedicure, just take some time to chill, to relax, and to treat yourself because You've done a lot the past 12 months and you have a big day coming up. So um, really taking some time for yourself and to pamper yourself will make you feel amazing and just ready to get married. It's going to be awesome. I feel like this is something else that you cannot get in a bridal subscription box and it's something that you need. <laughs> you will definitely need it by this point in your planning process. Um, so there you have it. There's my 12 month DIY bride box. I would go through and add each of these into your calendar and um, what you're going to do for them and then the have the reminder pop up on that day so that you be sure that you actually go and do them. Bridal subscription boxes have the potential to be awesome. I just don't think they're that awesome yet. I think that it's super important to like treat yourself and pamper yourself and kind of like give yourself little gifts and little motivation along the way while you're in your planning process. Um, well, also in your life. <laughs> Um, I think it's important to do this in your life too, but um, especially leading up to your wedding day, you're putting in a lot of work, you have a lot going on, so it's really important that you take the time to take care of yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if it was. Be sure that you share this video with your bride friends. Make sure they don't waste their money on those bridal subscription boxes either. Um, and then also, be sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my upcoming wedding planning content or bride lifestyle stuff. And we'll see you next time. Happy planning.